I'm excited to share with you today's message on how to brainwash yourself to success. Now, you might be thinking, brainwash? That sounds a bit extreme. But trust me, I've been in the personal development industry for over 40 years, and I've seen the power of our thoughts and beliefs in shaping our lives. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts and self-doubt. We're bombarded with messages from society, media, and even our own inner critic, telling us what we should be, how we should act, and what success looks like. And if we're not careful, we can easily succumb to these negative influences and limit our own potential. But here's the good news, you are not alone in this struggle. We all have moments of self-doubt and negative thinking. The key is to recognize it and take action to turn things around. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video, five powerful ways to brainwash yourself to success. By listening to this message, you are taking the first step towards rewiring your mind for success. So get ready to take control of your thoughts and beliefs and create a life of abundance and fulfillment. Let's get started, starting with the fifth way to brainwash yourself to success, which is learning from failures and setbacks. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to brainwash myself? Isn't that a bad thing? Well, let me tell you, my friends, that brainwashing can be a powerful tool for success. It's all about reprogramming your mind and your thoughts in a way that will lead you to greatness. And one of the most important aspects of this reprogramming is learning from failures and setbacks. You see, in life, we are bound to face obstacles and challenges. It's inevitable. But what sets successful people apart from the rest is their ability to learn from these failures and turn them into stepping stones towards success. Think about it. Every successful person you know has faced failures and setbacks. But they didn't let those failures define them. Instead, they used them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become better versions of themselves. So, my friends, I urge you to embrace failures and setbacks. Don't shy away from them or let them discourage you. Instead, use them as fuel to propel you towards your goals and dreams. Now, you may be wondering, how exactly can we learn from failures and setbacks? Well, let me share with you a few key points that have helped me in my own journey towards success. First and foremost, it's important to have a positive mindset. You see, failures and setbacks can be tough to handle. They can make us doubt ourselves and our abilities. But it's crucial to maintain a positive attitude and believe that you have the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Next, it's essential to take responsibility for your failures. It's easy to blame external factors or other people for our setbacks. But the truth is, we are ultimately responsible for our own success or failure. So instead of playing the blame game, Take ownership of your mistakes and use them as learning opportunities. Another crucial aspect of learning from failures is to reflect on them. Take the time to analyze what went wrong, what you could have done differently, and what you can learn from the experience. This introspection will help you gain valuable insights and prevent you from making the same mistakes in the future. And let me tell you, my friends, there is no shame in failure. In fact, failure is a necessary part of the journey towards success. As long as you learn from your failures, you are one step closer to achieving your goals. Moreover, it's essential to have a growth mindset. This means believing that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. With a growth mindset, you see failures as temporary setbacks that can be overcome with effort and perseverance. On the other hand, a fixed mindset sees failures as a reflection of one's abilities and intelligence. This mindset can hold you back from learning from your failures and reaching your full potential. So, my friends, I urge you to cultivate a growth mindset and see failures as opportunities for growth and improvement. Another important aspect of learning from failures is to surround yourself with the right people. The people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your mindset and your approach towards failures. Surround yourself with people who believe in you, support you, and motivate you to keep going, even when things get tough. These are the people who will help you learn from your failures and become a better version of yourself. 
And lastly, I want to remind you that success is not a destination, it's a journey. And failures and setbacks are a part of that journey, so don't let them discourage you or make you give up on your dreams. Instead, use them as stepping stones towards your ultimate goal. Learning from failures and setbacks is a crucial step towards brainwashing yourself for success, which leads us to the number four way to brainwash yourself to success. Take action and overcome fear. You see, my friends, success is not a destination, it is a journey. And the first step on this journey is to take action. You can have all the knowledge and information in the world, but if you don't take action, it's all for naught. Action is what turns dreams into reality, and it is the key to achieving success. But here's the thing, taking action can be scary. It requires us to step out of our comfort zone and face our fears. And that is why so many people fail to take action and remain stuck in mediocrity. But let me tell you, fear is nothing but a figment of our imagination. It is a mental construct that we create, and it has no power over us unless we allow it to. Think about it. What's the worst that could happen if you take action towards your goals? You might fail. So what? Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of the journey towards success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their life. But they didn't let it stop them. They learned from their failures and used them as stepping stones to reach their goals. So, my friends, I urge you to take action despite your fears. Don't let fear hold you back from living the life you deserve. Take that first step, and the rest will fall into place. And remember, the only way to overcome fear is to face it head on. So the next time you feel afraid, ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And then take action anyway. But taking action is not enough. We must also have a plan of action, a roadmap that will guide us towards our goals. Without a plan, we are like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea of life. So, my friends, I encourage you to sit down and create a plan for your life. Set clear, specific goals and break them down into actionable steps. And then, take consistent action towards your goals every single day. But here's the thing, taking action and having a plan is not enough if we don't have the right mindset. And that brings me to the fifth way to brainwash yourself to success. Cultivating a success mindset. You see, my friends, success is not just about what we do. It's also about who we are. And who we are is determined by our thoughts, beliefs, and habits. If we want to achieve success, we must first believe that we are capable of it. We must believe that we are worthy and deserving of success. We must believe that we have what it takes to overcome any obstacle and achieve our goals. And this belief must be so strong that it becomes a part of our identity. But here's the thing. Our beliefs are not set in stone. We have the power to change them if they are not serving us. So if you have limiting beliefs that are holding you back, it's time to let go of them and replace them with empowering beliefs that will propel you towards success. And remember, our thoughts become our beliefs, our beliefs become our actions, and our actions become our reality. So choose your thoughts carefully, my friends. In addition to beliefs, our habits also play a crucial role in our success. As Aristotle famously said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. So if we want to achieve success, we must cultivate habits that support our goals. This means being disciplined, consistent, and focused in our actions. It means being willing to do what others are not so we can have what others do not. Which leads us to the number three way to brainwash yourself to success. Practice positive affirmations. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly are positive affirmations? Well, let me tell you, they are powerful statements that can transform your thoughts and beliefs. They are words that you speak to yourself about yourself, and they have the power to shape your reality. You see, our thoughts and beliefs are like seeds that we plant in our minds. And just like any seed, they have the potential to grow into something magnificent or something destructive. It all depends on what we choose to water and nurture. If we constantly feed our minds with negative thoughts and beliefs, then we will only reap negativity in our lives. 
But if we choose to plant positive thoughts and beliefs, then we will see positivity blossom in our lives. So how do we practice positive affirmations? It's simple. We speak them to ourselves every day with conviction and belief. We tell ourselves things like, I am capable, I am worthy, I am successful, I am loved, and I am enough. But here's the thing, my friends. It's not just about saying these words. It's about truly believing them. You see, our minds are like a sponge. They absorb everything we tell them. And if we keep telling ourselves positive things, eventually, our minds will start to believe them and act accordingly. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't believe those things about myself. How can I possibly say them with conviction? And to that, I say, practice makes perfect. Just like any skill, positive affirmations require practice and consistency. Think about it. When you first learned to ride a bike, you probably fell a few times. But did you give up? No, you kept practicing until you were able to ride without falling. The same goes for positive affirmations. At first, it may feel uncomfortable or even silly to say these things to yourself. But with practice, it will become second nature. And let me tell you, my friends, the results are worth it. When you start to believe in yourself and your abilities, you will see a shift in your mindset. You will start to take action towards your goals and dreams because you believe that you can achieve them. But positive affirmations are not just about achieving success in your career or finances. They also have a tremendous impact on your overall well-being. When you practice positive affirmations, you are nurturing your self-esteem and self-worth. You are reminding yourself that you are enough just as you are. And this is crucial because in today's society, we are bombarded with messages that tell us we are not good enough. We are constantly comparing ourselves to others, and this can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. But when we practice positive affirmations, we are building a shield against these negative messages. We are strengthening our minds and our sense of self-worth. Now, I want to share with you a personal story about the power of positive affirmations. When I was just starting out in my career, I had a lot of self-doubt and fear. I was constantly comparing myself to others and feeling like I wasn't good enough. But then I started to practice positive affirmations. Every morning, I would look in the mirror and say to myself, I am capable. I am worthy. I am successful. And slowly but surely, I started to believe it. And you know what happened? I started to take action towards my goals. I started to believe in myself and my abilities. And eventually, I achieved success beyond my wildest dreams. And it all started with those simple positive affirmations. Which leads us to the number two way to brainwash yourself to success. Surround yourself with positive influences. It is said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Think about that for a moment. Are the people you are spending your time with lifting you up or bringing you down? Are they encouraging you to reach for your dreams, or are they holding you back? Are they positive influences or negative influences? You see, my friends, we are easily influenced by the people around us. And if we surround ourselves with negative, toxic, and pessimistic individuals, it is only a matter of time before we start to adopt their mindset and beliefs. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with positive, supportive, and ambitious individuals, we will be inspired to reach for our own greatness. But it's not just about the people we physically surround ourselves with. It's also about the media we consume. The books we read, the music we listen to, and the shows we watch all have a powerful impact on our thoughts and beliefs. If we constantly fill our minds with negativity, violence, and drama, it is no surprise that our lives will reflect the same. But if we choose to consume positive, uplifting, and motivational content, our thoughts and actions will align with that positivity. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. How can I control the people around me or the media that is constantly bombarding us? And to that, I say, you have more control than you think. You have the power to choose who you spend your time with, what you read, listen to, and watch. You have the power to create a positive environment for yourself. Surrounding yourself with positive influences is not about cutting people out of your life or living in a bubble. 
It's about being intentional with who and what you allow into your life. It's about setting boundaries and choosing to spend your time with people who uplift and inspire you. It's about being mindful of the content you consume and making a conscious effort to fill your mind with positivity. But let me warn you, my friends, this will not be an easy task. It takes courage and determination to surround yourself with positive influences. It means letting go of toxic relationships and habits that no longer serve you. It means being selective with the media you consume and being aware of its impact on your thoughts and beliefs. It means taking responsibility for your own happiness and success. But I promise you, the rewards of surrounding yourself with positive influences are immeasurable. When you surround yourself with people who believe in you, who push you to be your best self, and who support your dreams, you will start to believe in yourself more. When you consume content that inspires and motivates you, you will start to see opportunities and possibilities where you once saw obstacles. When you create a positive environment for yourself, you will attract more positivity into your life. So, my friends, I urge you to take a good look at the people you surround yourself with and the media you consume. Are they lifting you up or bringing you down? Are they helping you grow, or are they holding you back? Are they positive influences or negative influences? And if you find that some changes need to be made, have the courage to make them. Surround yourself with people who have achieved the success you desire. Read books written by successful individuals. Listen to podcasts and watch videos that inspire and motivate you. Create a vision board filled with your dreams and goals. And most importantly, believe in yourself and your ability to achieve greatness. Which leads us to the number one way to brainwash yourself to success. Set clear goals and visualize success. You see, success is not something that happens by chance. It is not a stroke of luck or a random occurrence. Success is a result of deliberate actions and choices. And the first step towards achieving success is to set clear goals. You cannot hit a target if you don't even know what you're aiming for. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, what do I want to achieve? Setting clear goals is like creating a roadmap for your life. It gives you a sense of direction and purpose. Without goals, you will wander aimlessly, and you will never reach your destination. And let me tell you, my friends, success is not a destination, it is a journey. It is a continuous process of growth and improvement, and setting clear goals is the first step towards that journey. Now, when I say clear goals, I mean specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. Don't just say, I want to be successful. That is too vague. Be specific about what you want to achieve. Is it a certain amount of income? Is it a particular position in your career? Is it a specific level of physical fitness? Whatever it may be, be specific about it. Next, your goals should be measurable. You should be able to track your progress and see how far you have come. This will not only keep you motivated, but it will also help you make necessary adjustments to your actions if you're not making progress. Your goals should also be achievable. Now, I'm not saying you should limit yourself or aim for mediocrity, but your goals should be realistic and within your capabilities. If you set goals that are too far-fetched, you will only end up feeling discouraged and demotivated. Furthermore, your goals should be relevant to your overall vision and purpose. Ask yourself, why do I want to achieve this? How does it align with my values and beliefs? If your goals are not relevant to your purpose, you will lack the motivation to pursue them. And lastly, your goals should be time-bound. This means you should have a deadline for achieving them. This will create a sense of urgency and push you to take action. Without a deadline, your goals will just be a wish, a dream that never materializes. So now that you have set clear goals, the next step is to visualize success. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you achieve your goals. It is the process of creating a mental image of what you want to achieve. When you visualize success, you are programming your mind to believe that it is possible. And when your mind believes something is possible, it will find a way to make it happen. Visualization is like creating a blueprint for your goals. Just like an architect creates a blueprint before building a house, you need to create a mental blueprint of your goals. 
This will help you stay focused and motivated, even when faced with challenges and obstacles. You see, our minds are powerful tools, and they can either work for us or against us. If we constantly feed our minds with negative thoughts and doubts, then we will never be able to achieve our goals. But if we train our minds to think positively and visualize success, then there is nothing that can stop us from achieving our dreams. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Jim, I have tried visualizing, and it doesn't work for me. Well, let me tell you, my friends, visualization is not a one-time thing. It is a daily practice. Just like you brush your teeth every day to keep them clean, you need to visualize your goals every day to keep them alive in your mind. And I'm not just talking about visualizing success in your mind, I'm talking about feeling it in your heart. You need to feel the emotions of achieving your goals. How would it feel to finally reach that level of success? How would it feel to accomplish your dreams? When you can feel it, you can make it a reality. Now, I want to share a personal experience with you all. When I was starting my career, I had a clear goal of becoming a successful entrepreneur and speaker. And every day, I would visualize myself standing on a stage, inspiring thousands of people and living a life of abundance. And let me tell you, my friends, that vision became a reality. I am standing here today, living my dream, because I never stopped visualizing success. So, my friends, I urge you to set clear goals and visualize success every day. Make it a part of your daily routine. And I promise you, if you do this consistently, you will see your life transform in ways you never thought possible. In closing, I want to leave you with this quote by the great Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. So set clear goals, visualize success, and let the brainwashing begin. Thank you. In today's message, we're going to discuss something that I believe is on everyone's mind. How to become the best in whatever it is that we do. Whether it's in our careers, relationships, or personal goals, we all aspire to be the best version of ourselves. But the truth is, it can be a daunting task. We often find ourselves comparing our progress to others and feeling like we're not measuring up. However, I want to assure you that you are not alone. We all struggle with this at some point in our lives. But the good news is that by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start on the path to becoming the best in anything you choose to pursue. I have spent decades studying successful individuals from all walks of life, and I have discovered that there are certain principles and habits that they all share. Today, I am excited to share with you five of these ways that will help you become the best in anything. So sit back, take notes, and get ready to unleash your full potential. Let's get started. Starting with number five, the fifth way to achieve that level of greatness you desire is to never stop learning. Learning is not just something we do in school or to acquire a specific skill. It is a lifelong process that should never come to an end. It is the key to unlocking our full potential and becoming the best version of ourselves. And yet, so many of us stop learning once we finish our formal education or reach a certain level of success. But I am here to tell you that the true path to greatness lies in a commitment to continuous learning. Now, you may be wondering, why is it so important to never stop learning? The answer is simple. The world is constantly evolving, and if we do not keep up with it, we will be left behind. The technology that we have today was not even imaginable 50 years ago, and yet here we are, using it to connect with people from all over the world. This is just one example of how the world is changing at a rapid pace, and if we do not continue to learn and adapt, we will be left behind. But it's not just about keeping up with the changing times. Learning also allows us to expand our knowledge and skills, making us more valuable individuals. It opens doors to new opportunities and allows us to take on challenges that we never thought possible. As the saying goes, knowledge is power, and the more we learn, the more powerful we become. Furthermore, learning keeps our minds sharp and active. Just like how we exercise our bodies to keep them healthy, we must also exercise our minds. Learning new things challenges our brains and helps us to stay mentally fit. As we age, it becomes even more crucial to continue learning to prevent cognitive decline. 
So if you want to keep your mind sharp and your brain functioning at its best, never stop learning. But learning is not just about acquiring new information or skills. It is also about personal growth and development. When we learn, we are forced to step out of our comfort zones and try new things. This helps us to discover our strengths and weaknesses and gives us the opportunity to improve ourselves. It allows us to break through self-imposed limitations and reach new heights. As the great Tony Robbins once said, if you're not growing, you're dying. Learning is the key to personal growth and development, and without it, we will become stagnant and unfulfilled. Now, some of you may be thinking, but I don't have the time to learn new things. I'm too busy with work and other responsibilities. And to that, I say, make the time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us how we choose to use them. Instead of spending hours mindlessly scrolling through social media or binge-watching TV shows, dedicate some time each day to learning something new. It doesn't have to be a lot. Even just 15 minutes a day can make a huge difference. And with the abundance of resources available to us today, there is no excuse not to learn something new. Furthermore, learning doesn't have to be limited to traditional methods such as reading books or attending classes. We live in a digital age where information is at our fingertips. We can learn from online courses, podcasts, videos, and even social media. The possibilities are endless. So find a method that works for you and make learning a part of your daily routine. But perhaps the most important reason why we should never stop learning is that it keeps us humble. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. And this humbling experience keeps us grounded and open-minded. It allows us to see things from different perspectives and be more empathetic towards others. It also prevents us from becoming complacent and thinking that we know everything. As the saying goes, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. Next, I would like to share with you the fourth way to become the best in anything. As you may know, I have spent my life studying success and personal development, and I am here to tell you that the key to achieving greatness lies in consistent practice. Practice is the foundation upon which all skills and talents are built. It is the bridge between where you are now and where you want to be. Without practice, talent is just potential, and potential alone will not lead you to success. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect, and this statement is absolutely true. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but I don't have the time to practice consistently. I have a job, a family, and other responsibilities. How can I possibly find the time to practice? My answer to you is this. If you truly want to become the best in anything, you must make the time. It is not about finding the time. It is about making the time. You must prioritize your goals and your dreams and make the necessary sacrifices to achieve them. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, I had a mentor who told me that if I wanted to become a successful speaker, I needed to practice my craft every single day. And so I made a commitment to practice for one hour every day, no matter what. Some days, I was exhausted from my day job and all I wanted to do was relax. But I knew that if I wanted to achieve my dream, I had to put in the time and effort. And let me tell you, that one hour of practice every day made all the difference. It allowed me to hone my skills, refine my message, and become the best speaker I could be. Consistent practice is not just about putting in the time. It is also about being intentional and deliberate in your practice. It is not enough to simply go through the motions. You must be fully present and engaged in your practice. This means setting specific goals, breaking down your skills into smaller manageable tasks, and constantly challenging yourself to improve. Another important aspect of consistent practice is staying committed and disciplined. It is easy to get discouraged when you don't see immediate results, but you must remember that success takes time and effort. You must stay committed to your practice even when it gets tough. As the saying goes, the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. Every time you practice, you are making progress towards your goals, even if you can't see it right away. Consistent practice also allows you to develop a growth mindset. 
This means being open to learning, making mistakes, and constantly striving to improve. When you practice consistently, you are not just repeating the same actions over and over again. You are actively seeking ways to get better. As the great Michael Jordan once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times, I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Failure is not a setback. It is an opportunity to learn and grow. Consistent practice also builds discipline and resilience. It teaches you to push through challenges and setbacks and to keep going even when things get tough. It is through consistent practice that you develop the mental toughness to overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. And let me tell you, the results of consistent practice are truly remarkable. Not only will you see improvement in your skills and abilities, but you will also see a transformation in your mindset and attitude. You will become more confident, more focused, and more determined to achieve your goals. You will also gain a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment from knowing that you are actively working towards becoming the best version of yourself. Next, let's discuss the third way to become the best in anything, and that's by learning from the best. I'm reminded of a quote by the great philosopher Aristotle, who said, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Indeed, excellence is not something that happens by chance. It is a deliberate and conscious effort to constantly improve ourselves and strive for greatness. And one of the most effective ways to achieve this is by learning from the best. Think about it. In any field, whether it is sports, business, or the arts, there are always individuals who stand out from the rest. They have achieved a level of success and mastery that others can only dream of. And the key to their success, learning from the best. But what does it mean to learn from the best? It means seeking out those who have already achieved what we want to achieve and studying their habits, mindset, and strategies. It means being humble enough to admit that we don't know everything and being open to learning from others. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have access to these successful individuals. How can I learn from them? Well, my friends, we live in an age where information is readily available at our fingertips. We have books, podcasts, videos, and seminars that can provide us with valuable insights and lessons from the best in any field. But let me tell you, Learning from the best is not just about acquiring knowledge. It's about applying that knowledge and taking action. As the saying goes, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is true power. So how can we effectively learn from the best? Let me share with you three key steps. Firstly, we need to identify who the best are in our chosen field. This may seem like a no-brainer, but it's important to be specific. We can't just say, I want to learn from the best in business. We need to narrow it down. Who are the top entrepreneurs in our industry? Who are the most successful leaders in our company? By identifying these individuals, we can then study their journey and learn from their experiences. Secondly, we need to study their habits and mindset. Success leaves clues, my friends, and one of the biggest clues is the habits and mindset of successful individuals. What do they do on a daily basis? How do they approach challenges and setbacks? By studying and emulating their habits and mindset, we can start to see positive changes in our own lives. Lastly, we need to take action. Learning from the best is pointless if we don't apply what we've learned. We need to take consistent and deliberate action towards our goals. As the saying goes, the best way to learn is by doing. So don't just read books or listen to podcasts. Take action and apply what you've learned. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I'm afraid of failure. What if I try and I fail? Well, let me tell you, my friends, failure is not something to be feared. It is a necessary part of the journey towards success. In fact, the most successful individuals have failed countless times before achieving their goals. But the key is to learn from those failures and keep moving forward. As the great inventor Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. 
I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So don't let the fear of failure hold you back from learning from the best and achieving your goals. Now, I want to share with you a personal story. When I first started my journey towards personal development, I was a young man with big dreams but no direction. I didn't have access to successful individuals, and I didn't know how to learn from them. But then I stumbled upon a book by the legendary motivational speaker Earl Nightingale, and let me tell you, that book changed my life. I learned about the power of goal setting, the importance of taking action, and the success of countless others. I am talking about the power of developing a growth mindset. Now, what exactly is a growth mindset, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed and improved through hard work, dedication, and a willingness to learn. It is the understanding that our potential is not set in stone but rather something that we can continuously expand and improve upon. You see, many people have a fixed mindset. They believe that their abilities and intelligence are set in stone, and there is nothing they can do to change it. They see failure as a reflection of their own limitations, and they give up easily when faced with challenges. But let me tell you, this kind of mindset will only hold you back from reaching your full potential. On the other hand, those with a growth mindset see failure as an opportunity to learn and grow. They understand that success is not a result of innate talent but rather hard work, perseverance, and a willingness to learn from mistakes. They are not afraid to take on challenges because they know that even if they fail, they will come out stronger and more knowledgeable on the other side. So how can you develop a growth mindset? It all starts with your thoughts and beliefs. You must first believe that you are capable of growth and improvement. You must believe that your potential is not limited by your current abilities but rather limitless. Next, you must be willing to put in the work. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. The same goes for your skills and abilities. It takes time, effort, and dedication to see improvement and growth, but I can assure you it will all be worth it in the end. Another important aspect of developing a growth mindset is embracing challenges. Too often, we shy away from challenges because we are afraid of failure. But let me tell you, failure is not something to be feared. It is a necessary part of the learning process. Embrace challenges and see them as opportunities to learn and improve. In addition to embracing challenges, it is also important to seek out feedback. Feedback is crucial in our growth and development. It allows us to see our blind spots and areas where we can improve. But it is important to remember that feedback is not a reflection of our worth as individuals. It is simply a tool to help us grow and become better versions of ourselves. Now, I know that developing a growth mindset is not always easy. It takes discipline and a strong mindset to overcome the natural tendency to stick with what is comfortable and familiar. But I can assure you, the rewards are well worth the effort. You see, when you have a growth mindset, you are not limited by your current abilities. You are constantly pushing yourself to learn and improve, and this is what sets you apart from the rest. It is what allows you to become the best in whatever it is that you do. But let me be clear, having a growth mindset does not mean that you will never fail. Failure is a natural part of the journey towards success. But the difference is, those with a growth mindset do not let failure define them. They use it as a stepping stone towards their ultimate goal. And now, to number one. As I stand here before you, I am reminded of the great words of the legendary Zig Ziglar, who once said, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. These words hold so much truth and are the foundation of what I am about to share with you today. My friends, we all have dreams, aspirations, and goals that we want to achieve in our lives. It could be anything from becoming the best athlete, musician, or entrepreneur to being the best parent, spouse, or friend. But the question is, how do we turn these dreams into reality? How do we become the best in anything we set our minds to? The answer, my friends, is simple yet powerful. Set clear and specific goals. Yes, you heard it right. Setting clear and specific goals is the number one way to become the best in anything. You see, 
Goals are the fuel that drives us towards success. They give us direction, purpose, and motivation. They are the roadmap that leads us to our desired destination, and without them, we are like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the vast sea of life. But let me tell you something, my friends. Setting goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to achieve. It's about creating a clear and specific plan of action that will help you reach those goals. It's about setting a target and then working tirelessly towards it with unwavering determination and persistence. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was in my 20s, I was working as a stock clerk at a department store. I was barely making enough to make ends meet, and I knew that I wanted more out of life. I wanted to be successful, financially secure, and live a life of abundance. So I set a clear and specific goal to become a millionaire by the time I turned 30. Now, some people might have thought I was crazy, but I didn't let their opinions deter me. I knew what I wanted, and I was willing to do whatever it takes to achieve it. I started reading books, attending seminars, and learning from successful people. I also started setting smaller, achievable goals that would eventually lead me to my ultimate goal of becoming a millionaire. And guess what, my friends? By the time I turned 31, I had not only achieved my goal of becoming a millionaire, but I had also become a successful entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker. And it all started with setting a clear and specific goal. You see, when you set a clear and specific goal, you are giving yourself a target to aim for. You are creating a vision of what you want to achieve, and that vision becomes your driving force. It gives you a sense of purpose and direction, and it helps you stay focused and motivated even when faced with challenges and obstacles. But setting clear and specific goals is just the first step, my friends. The next step is to take massive action towards those goals. You see, goals without action are just dreams. You can have the most well-defined and specific goals, but if you don't take action, they will remain just that. Goals. So what does taking massive action mean? It means creating a plan and then executing it with all your heart and soul. It means being willing to put in the hard work, the long hours, and the sacrifices that are necessary to achieve your goals. It means being persistent and never giving up, even when things get tough. And let me tell you, my friends, there will be times when things will get tough. There will be setbacks, failures, and disappointments. But it is during these times that your goals will keep you going. They will remind you of why you started in the first place and give you the strength and determination to keep moving forward. But setting clear and specific goals and taking massive action is not enough, my friends. The third and equally important step is to continuously evaluate and adjust your goals. You see, as you progress towards your goals, you will encounter new opportunities, challenges, and experiences. And these may require you to make adjustments to your goals. For example, let's say your goal is to lose 20 pounds in six months. As you start working towards it, you realize that you are losing weight faster than expected, and you are feeling healthier and more energetic. In this case, it would be wise to adjust your goal and aim for a higher weight loss or focus on maintaining your current weight and building muscle. On the other hand, if you are not making progress towards your goal, it might be time to reevaluate your plan and make necessary changes. Maybe you need to seek help from a mentor or a coach, or perhaps you need to change your approach. The key is to be flexible and open to adjustments as long as they align with your ultimate goal.